Happy holidays, everyone. Winter is here, and I want to know what you're doing this season. Is it sledding, drinking some nice cocoa, or just sitting back playing your favorite Nintendo levels? Welcome back to BLDX Games. Today, we'll be discussing my personal top 10 cold Nintendo levels. Let's see what we've got. Penguin Slide. It's adorable. For a game about getting fit, Penguin Slide is surprisingly fun and completely non-sweaty. The goal is to move your body to a certain side of the iceberg and jump up to collect some fish. Sure, it's tough, but it's a nice way to relax in the coldest place on the planet. Plus, these penguins are so adorable. Have you ever seen such a cute penguin? Mount Wario. Mount Wario is a very unique Mario Kart track. Instead of looping around, this track has you racing down a big mountain to get from the summit to the ground. It's a unique concept, and the level itself is as fun as heck. I don't know why it's named after Wario, or why anyone in the Mario universe would want to, except for Mona. But still, this is an extremely fun track, and one I never get tired of playing. Bowser on Ice. It's nothing special, it's not much, it's incredibly quick, but man do I love this level, and honestly I'm not really sure why. It's a basic level that involves burning centuries as Fire Mario and grabbing the star. It's a nice way to relax, but I really can't explain it any better than that. Maybe I'm just simple. Snow tubing. When I first played the snow tubing event in Go Vacation, I thought it'd be a nice little race. But no! This tubing is full on bowling! You don't knock them all down, you go again. You knock them all down, you get a strike! Wow! The madness! I can't handle it! Snowball Park. I don't know what it is, but playing Super Mario 3D World on a cold snowy day just feels really relaxing, and one of my favorite levels is none other than Snowball Park. It has a beautiful Aurora sky, the super awesome propeller box, and this beautiful landscape. We also got the return of the curry bow, I guess? It's a giant boot. The Glacial Peak. Heading into the climax of the Subspace Cemetery, the Glacial Peak was one of my favorite levels in the game. This level has you climbing up a mountain with the choice of either Medanite or the Ice Climbers. It's a fun but annoying time and a great representation of what a modern day Ice Climber game would look like today. It's a very fun level and one I'll have to visit again soon. Cone Zone What? It involves ice cream. Ice cream is cold. Just let me do my list. Cone Zone is extremely fun. Your goal is to stack the ice cream as high as possible while keeping it balanced. But there's a catch. Instead of competing with another player, you're actually working together and need to avoid knocking each other's cones into one another. It's fun, it's goofy, and it's awesome. Snowball Fight. What's a better winter activity than snowball fighting in a big stadium? The answer is nothing. It's a simple idea, but very difficult to master. You expect to hit as many people as possible while also dodging snowballs. However, the snowmen may stick two hits to knock down and have better aim than the others. It's a fun game, and I'll never get tired of it. Especially with the cold air. How can you possibly get sweaty like that? Corluge. Come on. Do I even need to say it? Toy Day. Okay, so it's not technically a level, but it's Animal Crossing, it's Christmas, it's fun, I need to put it on the list. Toy Day is awesome! Taking place on December 24th, your mission is to visit animals dressed up as Santa Claus and give them the right present, which you'll learn about in the weeks leading up to the event after the Harvest Festival. It's a cute way of getting ready to open your own presents on Christmas Day. 
You also meet Jingle, the black-nosed reindeer. Yeah, that's literally what he calls himself. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, consider heading over to Luke's Films to watch some movies. And be sure to bundle up warm this holiday. Tonda Gasa!